Hi everyone. So here's the Excel assignment um, or the Excel sheet that I referred to when introducing Granites. So we're in the sheet Bateman 1988 TIC Trace and RED is for reduced. Uh, just as a note to myself that I've made this a little bit smaller so you don't have to navigate too much of uh, this data. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to come over to the end or I don't know, we'll, we'll insert a new, a new column. Um, so we'll come over here to AA, you can insert anywhere else you like. And so in the previous lecture, we introduced the ACNK ratio. So I'm just going to write that here, ACNK. Now to calculate that, I need the molar quantities. Now everything that's here are weight percents. So we need a title for this. So I'm going to type in here weight percent oxides. So we have the weight percent of silica, titanium, aluminum, etc. But the weight percents are not the molar percents. So we need to calculate, we need to convert uh, aluminum, uh, sodium, and potassium into molar contents. So I want molar Al2O3, molar um, Na2O, molar K2O. And I need one more column, I'll insert another column, and then molar CaO. Now, you can look at the back of your uh, mineralogy textbook, uh, or you can use a periodic chart, uh, but I'm going to use Google. And I'm going to write molecular weight of CaO. And it's 56.077. So I'll come over to the calcium column. I'll take the weight percent and divide it by 56.077. I'm going to double check that I got that right. 56.0774. Oh, for precision, precision, I'll add that four. I'm going to come back to Google again and do the same thing for. Al203, and its molecular weight is 101.96. So I'll take the weight of aluminum divided by 101.96. Go to Google, K2O, 94.2. So equals the weight divided by 94.2. That's moles per gram. And then Na2O, which is 61.9, let's call it 61.98. And I'm going to double check that I got that number right. 61.98. Yeah, that would look close. Uh, or, I don't know, we could put 789. That's a pretty reasonable number, isn't it? All right. And then once we have those molar values, we can fill down. So we do that calculation for all of the samples. So in the spreadsheet, we have, oh, it looks like it goes down to 60. So we have about 54 samples. And so the ACNK ratio would be equal to aluminum divided by, and we need to use parentheses, the sum of calcium plus potassium plus sodium. And so this one, at least the very first sample, was 0 0.96, so it's less than 1. And if we come back to our diagram here, that would mean that it's metaluminous. With the value of this being less than 1, that means that we have less aluminum than the total of calcium, potassium, and sodium. And I'll leave it to you to come back to this spreadsheet and calculate the rest of them. And once you do that, I want you to do something else. So what kind of rock is this? Is it I-type or S-type? And we could do a simple uh, equation. We could say if equals if this is less than 1, then we'll have in parentheses, we'll put a capital I, else we can be at capital S. Or instead of I, we can actually write out I type. And instead of S, 
maybe it's better if we write S type. And so we're doing a classification calculation here and then finishing it off by putting in an if then statement. So take a look at this uh, formula bar here to get the syntax right. And we can say whether it's I type or S type. And now at a glance, we can know what kind of rocks these are. And we'll come back to the trace elements in orange a little bit later. I think we might save that until Wednesday.